Stormers won the toss. They chose to play from left to right. So Irish and Rory Jennings will get us underway. It's uh, a brightish West London day. Irish have uh, managed to gain, what, two, three metres, but Stormers in charge of affairs now. And Dweber is engaged. And they're doing really well. Look at Fareed controlling things, running backwards to go forwards. Oh, it's a penalty try. Such was the muscle and the control and the ability to change the pressure Number points six. that in the end Irish's defence came up short. That is fabulous mauling from the Stormers and it brings them a oh, first. Oh, that's very nicely played, Ori managing to swing that ball wide and here's now Wise old head back in midfield, gets it away, that look forwards, Angelo Davids will skate in, I'm sure it'll be checked. Here, sensational, off the left, and big right hand you. off, and then it's about this final pass. Uh, check, check. Oh, I tell you what, I mean, it looks flat there, but there check, could check. be more trouble because Ben Loder's tackle Come here, off. that's Sorry. head on head. Uh, it's not try for what pass, but just check the tackle by the, the black player, please. Voilà, ici. Hey, can you make an arrest image on point contact? Yeah, it's Oof. head, head. Red card. Well, increasingly, this tournament this weekend is a tournament a weekend shaded in red. So it'll be interesting to see how this logistically plays out over the next few years. I think the fixture list is going to have to be synchromeshed, isn't it, between the URC and the Champions Cup, making sure that they do have those lengthy stays in one country or another. Oh. I know they're really looking forward to the bus trip from uh, Dublin up to Belfast, and they're really looking forward to this try as well. And Ron now read it comfortably, and the Stormers, with all those air miles behind them, all the air miles ahead of them, are scoring tries as well. Almost want to play themselves, but look at this line speed. Two passes, and they've come out five metres already. They get in that passing lane. Irish want to get to that edge, and as a defensive team, you want to get up, so they can't get that third pass away. Really good time in getting in the passing channel. Much easier said than done for Jenkins just to hold that ball, but credit to the Stormers' line speed. That's a great defensive try. Free ball, Stormers' ball. Willem set off the floor. They don't want to die with the ball, Sam, do they? They are they are keen to keep this alive. We haven't seen them offloading as much as they normally would. Irish have done actually quite well, very well to, to contain them, considering, but they normally play a much higher offloading game. I'm sure they're going to try and impose that more as this game goes on. Lovely body position from Connor Evans as he took that play on, play on. ball in. Salman Murat, by the way, has gone for the season after hurting his knee in the game against Irish before Christmas. I'm expecting to see a little bit more of Conor Evans over the next few months. And this time, Feinberg and Gomazulu goes to the boot and it's picked up by Hartzenberg. And it's three. And the Stormers exploiting spaces that have to be there. How they've built through the phases as well as spotting the opportunities and then finishing them. That's where Storms have been very good, albeit against 14 men. Goodrick Clark. Simmons comes in to try to release the ball. And the ball was um, secured on the floor, and that hurt. Can you freeze the frame with, with this angle? Yeah, for, so for me. Eric, we have a dangerous spin out by yes. number 18. Uh, you right, right from a distance with speed, shoulder direct to the head. This feels like a very familiar conversation 18. that we're having, a very familiar lecture that these referees are handing out, and a very familiar red card. It's a second for London Irish. Kieran Parker following Ben Loder. 
Yeah, Ron Nell is, uh, is the Stormers defensive leader at outside centre and he's showing his qualities today. Van Rensburg. Missed pass over the top to Lucio Sinti. Uh, he's dropped it. Ain't an awful lot going right for London Irish at the moment. Hassel Collins, oh, the ball bounces, and then, whoa, was that a trip? It doesn't really matter because Angelo Davids plugs himself in, electrifies himself up, and scores a fourth and bonus point securing try for the Stormers. Because for that transition there, and of course, it's a wicked bounce of the ball. Hassel Collins does his best, it goes over his shoulder. That kick there, just into space. And it's Davids with his second of the game. Take, taken by Simmons. I'm in here. Ah, now Irish. They might need all 13 of their players on the pitch to get over here, but they're doing what they can. And they've got the try. Penalty try. Same. Number one. I think there's going to be um, a yellow here. I think it's going to be Number Stephen one. Kitsoff uh, following the same path. He's trod in the first half. Offside 20. Munger. Oh, power and determination, but equally so BJ Dixon. Now oh, it's Basham. Simmons goes in to release that ball, and Irish now are over, and this one is scored. And it's been tapped down by Fischetti this afternoon for his team. Ungaret. En plan large, it's difficult to see. En plus, il y a cut d'image à ce moment-là. This is Ungaret. Willems there, wonderfully done, flung away. Somebody has to score, and there we are. Ruan now. Just double check this. No, that's dropped. Okay. Look at the risk. Look at the sloppy. Two seconds. They can't check, let check. this one go as check, well. Check, check. Check, check, check. Okay. Yeah. Time out. Check, check. PMO. Well, this yes, one takes. I want to check the grounding, please. Okay. That's so. Uh, Eric in the truck. Ah, okay. Ludovic looking up so at the big screen. Eric, on this angle, for me, he clearly lost the control of the ball. He lost the control of the ball. We have clear separation. So it's not on by White in the end goal. So we will start by, by drop line go, go out. Yes. That's an illustration of Stormers in the right. second half. Not try, not on, drop Comfortable. Line. Ron now having to content himself with the interception try that he snaffled in the first half. And still time for another. Gathered by uh, Feinberg and Gomazulu. And there may well be another. Hunting it down. Oh, Hansenberg just beaten by that pesky bouncing ball. A match underlined twice in red. The red cards, the Irish red cards for Ben Loder in the first half and for Kieran Parker in the second. Absolutely bending the shape and the progress of this contest. But Stormers will think that they had their measure all along anyway. But against 13, it was only ever going to be their match and it is their match. And Stormers have come to London and done a thoroughly professional job.